Good afternoon and welcome to our show called e-commerce chat where we uh, have a conversation with different stakeholders uh, who are involved in e-commerce in Zambia. My name is Jafet Mesa. I'm the head of operations at E-Africa Expo Zambia Limited. I'm standing in for our usual host, Ms. Mwanga Sipumo, who is not able to take us on this, this afternoon. On the show today, I have Mr. Ezekiel Nali, who is the a marketing lead at Imseeker Services uh, Limited. And uh, we'll just have a conversation with him just to get to understand what, uh, what they do at Imseeker. And uh, we, we just have a chat to see what, the, what their vision for the long term is. Welcome to the show, Ezekiel. Thank you for, thank you, thank you for joining us. Uh, how's your team at Imseeker? Our team is uh, excellent. We're all doing very fine. Great. All right, so before we get into our conversation with Ezekiel, um, uh, I'll just take a break uh, to, we'll take a break uh, to catch a breather, to set ourselves up, and then to get ready for the conversation going forward. See you in a bit. And we are back. Uh, thank you for staying in touch. Uh, so I will have a quick, quick, quick conversation with you, Ezekiel. Make me understand. Uh, what do you do at IMSICA exactly? Uh, well, firstly, IMSICA is an agri-tech company. Uh, that means it's a combination of agriculture and technology. So what we do is we help farmers and pretty much anyone access farm inputs online. We also have them delivered to the, uh, whichever location suits them. Great. So yeah, basically uh, an e-commerce platform with a, with a focus on uh, agriculture products and services, um, exactly. but also with, with, uh, with a specific focus as well on tech uh, as, a, as, an, as an institution. You don't want to align yourself too much to Agric alone, but you're more of a tech company. Am I correct? All right, so. Yes, yeah, e-commerce is an, uh, it's an untapped market. Sorry, I lost you there. My internet connection is not so stable. Oh, uh, I said the e-commerce is an untapped market in Africa, so we are focusing on, uh, on that. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been in operation? A uh, little over four years now. Mm -hmm. be five years this October. So I'll go back. I'll backtrack again for a bit. So you are an agro... Uh, agricultural supplies company. Uh, what products do you have on your platform? Uh, in a nutshell, we have agricultural products, and these products are in three main categories, which are we sell chemicals, which this, this could be fungicides, herbicides, and the like. We sell seeds, which could be maize seeds, vegetable seeds, and so on. And we also sell um, small machinery like um, maize planters and gensets and, and so on. All right, so where, where, where are you located exactly? Currently, we are in the Vala Stage 2 along to the Mbula Road, uh, plot number 318. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I'm pretty not familiar with Lusaka, and if I'm new to Lusaka, would I be able to, to see it? Is there branding? Is it branded? Yes, uh, just as you are driving along Chilumbulu Road, you'll be able to see if you're coming from uh, town area, Kai Road, going to, uh, into Chilumbulu Road, you'll be able to see uh, a wall, an entire wall painted with uh, the Lusaka colors. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll focus again on the e-commerce aspect. 
Because e-commerce, uh, the idea of e-commerce is that we should be able to do everything on a platform without uh, ideally speaking to anyone. Like we should be able to find the products we're looking for, pick the products we're looking for, and pay for the products to receive them uh, just by providing an address without even picking up the phone. That's the idea of e-commerce. So, what payments methods? What payment methods do you have? Uh, do you have on your platform? We have uh, both offline and online payment methods. Offline payment methods, we have um, Zamtel and MTN mobile money transactions, as well as bank transfer. Then online payment methods, we have all mobile money networks, as well as Visa card payments. And when we keep referring to a platform, what, what platform are we talking about right now? Um, sorry, could you- what, what's, what's, the, what's, the web, what's the website address? Oh, uh, www.inseeker.com. That's E M S I K A.com. All right. Um, I understand uh, you guys have got a, a separate wing of uh, a separate de department from uh, your, your retail aspect. Uh, you have a, a teaching platform. Uh, what is it called? Yes, and what, what is it called? And uh, what courses do you have on offer? Uh, we have. First of all, it's called uh, Molini Apunzile in full. So it's um, the address is www.apunzile.com. And there we have uh, courses that help people learn how to farm as a business. So we are still focused on the farming as well as e-commerce aspects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what, is, what is your legacy up to this point? I know you've, you've operated for four years only. In terms of business, that's really a short time because yeah, I'm sure you're still learning the ins and outs, but what is your legacy? Our legacy is to bring prosperity to 70% of Africa, because we believe that uh, agriculture has the potential to bring food, clothing, and shelter uh, to, to Africa as well as the rest of the world, because um, there's a lot of prosperity that is just buried and waiting to be tapped into using agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we, we kind of share in this legacy, uh, even though indirectly or directly, I'm not sure. But uh, this was the reason why we changed uh, our name from uh, Zambia E-Commerce Expo and Conference to E-Africa Expo Zambia Limited, because our focus has shifted to the wider areas of uh, the Sadiq region and the rest of Africa, really, because uh, our target is yeah. to... Our target is to reach as many African countries uh, as possible in the next 10 to 15 years. So that's why we changed the name to A Africa Expo Zambia Limited. So we have been uh, having a chat. We've been having a chat with uh, Ezekiel Nali from uh, IMSICA Services Limited. And I have been your host, uh, Jafet Mesa. I was standing in for Mwangala Sipumo. Uh, thank you for joining us on this uh, weekly show where we discuss e-commerce. We have a chat with uh, stake, different stakeholders of e-commerce. People are making st uh, strides in e-commerce and uh, regulators and uh, movers and shakers alike. So thank you for joining us, Ezekiel, again. Thank you so much, Jeff. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. And until uh, we meet next weekend with another stakeholder, thank you for joining us. Bye.